Hey guys, and happy Saturday. So I'm coming at you from a different angle today. I want to try something different and see if it works out and let me know what you think. But we are going to go through the Scentsy Holiday Bricks 2023. Um, I only picked up two of the five because I just, as you've heard in any of my previous videos, if you're returning, hello and welcome, um, welcome back. And if you're new, hello and welcome. And I just wanted to share with you my thoughts, but I did say that I feel sen the Scentsy Bricks are overwhelming. So I didn't want to uh, get wax that I might not potentially like. So I typically would go all in, but this go around, I was like, you know what? I'm only gonna get the two that sound interesting to me because I am not a super fruity nor spicy lover, and I just don't tend to warm those things. So I did pick up two. Um, I am currently warming them today, so I'll get into the warm review as well. And then we're also going to go through the Sense of the Season collection. Now, I picked this up. I really am not a fan of the, a lot of the scents that are in here because some of them are returning and some of them are new but I wanted to sniff through them with you and share what my thoughts are on cold um, and maybe potentially a warm few of them. I might even give them as a gift because this is a really good gift. Um, and I do have the scent notes written on the back of these since I wish that's one thing Scentsy did, like either put the scents in the box or the scents on the bottom, but they don't. So um, we'll go through those at the end. So First things first, I want to tell you the three bricks that I did not pick up. However, I did put them in club in bar form, and I will do a review with, for, with them when I do get them on cold as well as warm. So the ones that I did not get, and it was a returning scent, is Candy Apple. And it was formerly Winter Candy Apple. And that is tart green apple, sweet candy, uh, and an accent, sweet candy accent. And from what I'm hearing, a lot of mixed reviews, I'm hearing that it's really tart, um, I'm hearing that it doesn't warm really well. And so I'm getting a bar and club. I just want to see what it, uh, what it typically is, um, if it's true, uh, and kind of just make my own review based on that. But again, I typically am not a uh, super fruity lover uh, or apple lover. Uh, Jack's Obsession is by far the only one that I really truly love as an apple scent from Scentsy other than Falling Apples which is a good scent. I don't know if it returned in catalog. It's woodsy. Um, it's more on the woodsy side. Um, it is a really good bar, just doesn't long, last very long for me. So the second scent that is new is Holly Jolly Cider, and that's apple cider, cinnamon stick, and a whiff of evergreen. And for the, the reviews that I'm hearing, uh, other fellow YouTubers and other Scentsy consultants, they said that if you're really not a tree lover, the whiff of evergreen is pretty forthcoming and really strong. So it does take a prominent forward front note base versus a back seat. So I am not a tree person. It has to really be blended well with bakery. I'm just not a tree lover. I don't want my house to smell like a forest um, or to smell like a tree. Uh, I really have to be in the mood uh, to really warm those things uh, if it's not along with bakery. So that's the second one. And then the third one that I did not pick up is orange spice and everything nice. That's also a new scent. And that is winter orange tea, mold spices, and I don't know what BB is. Now I'm like, not remembering what the BB is. Let me go see on this. Vanilla bean. Duh. So vanilla bean. So it's the winter orange tea, mold spices, and vanilla bean. So those three I do have coming in club. Uh, I just did a monthly club to try that out. So I will do those uh, once I receive them. So you can pick up two, uh, two of these cute little bricks for $40 or all five for 90 and then one is just 24 So I did get two, like I said, uh, based on the ones that I thought were, uh, sounded pretty good. So this one is returning. This is Cozy Kitchen and Forever Flannel is a new set. So let's get started first with Cozy Kitchen. So Cozy Kitchen is a returning scent and it's super cute. Look at the packaging. I know everyone is saying and it's the same price for less wax. Honestly, I really like the small pieces because I hate to chop wax and I really found it easy just to pop it out. So anyway, 
I am really enjoying the size of them. Uh, but what I've noticed though with Sensi, again, based on my own personal opinions, is I've been with them since 2020 and I've just noticed that you're getting a lot less for the same amount, whether it's, you know, the uh, monthly box as consultants, you started out with a brick, now you have one less bar. It's just, I've just noticed things have been changing as they've been growing as a company. So I think it just comes with ebb and flow of, you know, that, that they ever changing. So this is warm up to a blissful batch of warm oats with brown sugar and a spicy cinnamon swirl. So um, this is really good. I, I'm hearing, you know, everyone on cold say that it smells a little bit like uh, Make Me Snickerdoodle, which is a new scent for the catalog this fall and winter. And then a lot of folks are also saying that it smells like cinnamon buttercream, which I don't know if it's if that returned. Let me see. Um, cinnamon buttercream, I did not like. Um, go figure. I also don't really care for vanilla bean buttercream. So when people, you know, don't throw tomatoes. Um, but I'm typically, I feel like it doesn't smell like a true authentic vanilla. Um, yeah, so that one did not come back. So make me sticker doodles, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and sugared cinnamon. And so... They kind of have the same similar notes, and but I don't like Make Me Snickerdoodle either. So Make Me Snickerdoodle and Cinnamon Buttercream, I both don't care for on cold and or on warm. I just feel like they have a weird kind of note. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Um, I do agree. On cold, it does smell like Make Me Snickerdoodle and Cinnamon Buttercream. It almost kind of smells like a good mixture of the two. And I did break off the little um, stump of the tree. And I have it just, I wanted to see how strong it was because uh, everyone was saying that this is kind of light. So I typically would put on three or four warmers. I just have one going today with that. And it's actually pretty, it's not strong, but it's very light to moderate. Um, it's been going in since this morning, but I'm getting more of a, uh, cinnamon oatmeal scent. So similar to the oat note that's in apples and oats, that is the oat note that I get. If you've ever smelled apples and oats is a retired scent, I'm getting the oat cinnamon note from that without the apple. So I actually really like this. I like it on cold. I like it on warm. Um, it, it is a really good bakery scent for us bakery lovers out there. Do I feel like this could be more? Yes. But for what it is, I definitely like it. I really think I might club it and I might even pick up another brick of it because I feel like I feel like I might want to warm more of it. Um, even past the holidays. Like I don't think that this this can be more than just a holiday fall winter scent. It's just a nice, cozy, like bakery scent. So again, it's just brown sugar and cinnamon uh, and those notes. So really thoroughly enjoying this and I'm glad that I picked that up. All right, the second one that I picked up and I typically don't go for these these types of scents. It, I do like fresh, but I don't really care for lavender. But based on everyone's reviews, I was like, oh, everyone's saying that it's more of a sweet lavender than a herbal lavender. So I was like, let's go for it. So this is soft lavender warm sandalwood and bergamot, and it's called Forever Flannel. So really super cute, really pretty light blue wax. Oh, it smells so good. Again, I have the stump going in my master bathroom, and I have a master bathroom within my ha in my room. And that one little cube, the cube of the stump, is like warping through the upstairs and downstairs. So it is a moderate performer. Now, again, some might find it light, but I find that it's going pretty well considering, um, and mine did come clean, but my child, children, cracked them. Um, so anyway, it's going right now. Um, people keep comparing this to on cold, um, similar to fluffy fleece with that kind of note in there. Um, maybe, maybe it's the bergamot. I don't even, I thought it was heliotrope that was in, um, what's the, yeah, well, I'm drawing like fluffy flannel. Now I hate fluffy flannel. I actually gifted my brick away. Um, but I actually feel like, and 
it's kind of funny how I get this. And I wish if you smelt it before on cold, I kind of get similar notes of shut eye. Um, but then on warm, I get notes of fluffy fleece. So I feel like this is a good mixture that if shut eye and fluffy fleece had a baby, it would be forever flannel. So if you like shut eye, which it was a, uh, former bar from a, the catching Z's collection back in 2021, I think it was in January, 2021. I don't know what's in there. I should have grabbed the notes. I forgot before I got on here, but anywho, um, I feel like if you like shut eye and for a fluffy fleece warming, I think that you would probably like this one, but it's a very light lavender. You do get the sandalwood, um, and you do like a really cozy sandalwood and it's a really nice bedroom bathroom set. Now, I don't know if I'll pick up another brick of this, but I probably will pick up or club a bar of it, um, in my quarterly. So definitely like this and I definitely recommend that one. So those are the two bricks that I did pick up. So let's go and switch gears to the sense of the season. And all of this is now available. So let's, let's go into, and I'm pulling up the notes guys. Um, or yeah. All right. So this is the sense of the season and you can get the bar separately, or you can get them as part of the bundle in the box. And I think it's $25 for all of the bars, but don't hold me to that. So I'm going to go through the ones that are returning and, the, and then I'll go through the ones that are new at the end. So again, I haven't worn them, but on cold, um, I'll tell you what my thoughts are. So the first one that was in catalog, but they removed is Homestead Holiday. And the, the notes on this is blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needle. And when it was in catalog, I really didn't care for it. You really do have to like blood orange and cinnamon. So if you like the blood orange note in, if it was blood orange spice, I forget what they used to be in the catalog. If you like that cinnamony orange note, almost kind of like if you had those spices, if you've ever made a pot of those simmering spices on your stove as a kid with your mom and your folks growing up, it kind of reminds me of that, like a simmering orange or you put the cloves in the orange. That's kind of the spice that I get. Now, you also get the fur. It is a very light fur. Now on warm, I've never worn this because I was scared to, but I might actually warm this bar because everyone said that this is like the greatest cozy Christmas holiday scent. So I might just have to this year, but that's Homestead Holiday. So if you like blood orange and cinnamon and a little bit of tree, that's that one that's returning. Another one that's returning is Sugar Plum Berry. And this is brew of spice, citrus peels, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon stick. Now, I thought this would be like dancing sugar plums when I heard kind of the similar notes, but this is not. Um, this is very heavy on the spice and citrus. I'm trying to remember what I would compare this to if Sensi has ever done anything like this. And it kind of almost smells similar to Homestead Holiday, but just with plum to be honest, um, because there's evergreen in it. So I think if you like Homestead Holiday, I think you'll also like sugar plum berry, but it just has the plum in it. So if you want some extra fruit in there, <laughs> try that one, but that is returning as well. Okay. Another returning one for us peppermint lovers not, I'm not, but for you peppermint lovers is peppermint rush. This was a bring back my bar and I think it, um, it got voted this year or maybe it was the year prior, but this is peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. I can never understand what that is. And this is peppermint. If this is true, sweet, authentic peppermint, like if you just cracked sweet candy canes and, and, and dove into it with snow, because that's really all I get. Um, I thought it would smell like candy cane bumper cream, but this is kind of like really in your face. So it is, you really have to like peppermint. The bottom, you kind of get like a toothpaste peppermint. And I just, that's not my thing. But if peppermint's your thing, you'll definitely like that one. And you should definitely take advantage of this collection. All right. And then two new scents that everyone I think is really kind of liking um, in our bunch of, of uh, YouTubers um, is Frosted White Pine. And again, I'm not a tree lover. This is Frosted Pine, Needles, Chris Greens, and Winter Air. 
and it's nice. You get a fresh pine. Now, again, it's not heavy. It's not heavy like very snowy spruce and just for you, an ice pine. Actually, it kind of does smell similar to ice pine. It does smell similar to ice pine, which I don't think they brought back in catalog. Um, so if you liked ice pine, let me go to that page. If you liked ice pine, I think you would like this. Yeah. Yeah, if you liked ice pine, I think you'll like this one. So this is frosted white pine. So if you liked ice pine, definitely pick that one up. Got a fine nose, sorry. And last but not least, for bakery lovers out there, this is caramel praline cake. And this is praline splash, pralines, a splash of buttery vanilla and caramel drizzle. Now, also, if you know me by now, I like bakery, but, pray, but nuts and caramel scare me. I did not like caramel chestnut last year. I gave away my brick. But this one is good. It smells, you do get that creamy praline, nutty vanilla. I'm dyslexic. You get that creamy vanilla and that nutty praline with that caramel just to kind of tie it all in. I'm really curious to see how this one warms. If you get, I feel like a lot of caramel comes off burnt and that's what kind of scares me. So I'm curious. That's why I might keep this collection just to see how this one warms. Probably should have clubbed one bar just to see. Mm. Yeah, so I might give that one a try, but that is great, uh, caramel praline cake. So that's it, guys. That is the Sense of the Season collection. That is a really cute gift. So if you know someone who really likes Scentsy, it is the perfect gift to give. Or if you want to just try the bars on your own, you could do that. You can club them. If you don't know what uh, Scentsy Club is, please feel free to reach out to me. I will not get through that in a video right now, um, but I'll mess. I'll put that information below in the box. But feel free to reach out if you need a Scentsy consultant. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.